Okay, a quick video on how to ship on eBay. Um, if you just start eBay, this is a great video for you, or if you've been going down to the post office and shipping all your eBay stuff that way, that is the wrong way. You have to wait through the line, and the clerk there doesn't want to be working. So it's uh, this will save you some time and money and your customer money. So if you have a lower price on your shipping, then you'll get uh, you'll. A lot of times people will pay more for the actual item, your actual cost of item. So try to get that shipping price down as much as you can and you will get bigger profits off your items. So here we go. Um, first thing you need to do is go to USPS.com and order up a bunch of boxes. All you have to do is register and they're all free, these priority boxes. Um, you're saying to yourself, well, I've seen these at the post office. They have these at the post office. Well, they have more online that they actually don't. Um, actually have at the post office so you get a wider selection there so you can go down and get them. This is one I use that they typically don't have at the, at the local post office. It's a medium, or I'm sorry, it's a padded flat rate envelope. Very small, you can fit tons of stuff in here. Um, it's padded so it's got a little bit of protection there. Um, this, this with the discount, if you do use eBay shipping labels, you get a discount. Yes, you do. So this would be just, uh, just over seven dollars. Um, Another one which I use, which they don't typically carry at the local post office, is this regional rate box A. So what this is, it's not a flat rate, so that's it's gone by, you put whatever weight you want in here, but it's gone by area. So if you have uh, some of these that lives kind of close to you, a uh, state or two apart, this one would be a great box. It will be cheaper than your medium flat rate box. Um, so, but if it, you're shipping like on East Coast and you're shipping all the way out to uh, California, this might not be the box you want to go with. So, um, yeah, like I said, uh, eBay shipping labels, um, you'll get a discount when you use those. You'll also get a discount if you have a store and, and you're um, using those. you get a little bit more of a discount. And also, if you're a top-rated seller, it gives you even a little bit more discount on the shipping. So keep that in mind. And when you're pricing out your shipping, remember that eBay is still taking a, a, a cut off your shipping. So even though you're, they're giving you the discount, they're still... Your final value fees are still taking money that, that somebody paid for shipping. So keep that in mind and kind of help you calculate up. Uh, buy a printer, like I said, if you hadn't. Uh, uh, recommendations for a printer. I use a Canon printer. But um, when you're going to buy one, if you hadn't bought one, um, just pull up eBay real quick and look at the price of the ink that's going to cost to replace in that. So my Canon printer, a whole set of ink only cost me $6 off eBay. Shipped straight to my house. A uh, complete set of ink for my printer. So... Uh, that keeps my cost barely, fairly low. Um, also, if you own a sto store, you might have not been taking advantage of this. There is a $25 coupon that you get every quarter for eBay shipping supplies right here. So I just bought this, uh, a pack of 100 of these envelopes, which I use for first class um, shipping. Uh, for $22 with the coupon, they were free, but you have to pay tax. So I paid $2 for 100 of those uh, and that is great. Um, also, uh, different shipping options besides USPS. There's FedEx in there if you haven't thought about using it. Um, FedEx Ground is, is cheap for uh, larger items. Um, and also, there's one that's like snail postage, is what I call it, is a FedEx Smart Post. It goes through through the post office first, and then it goes, or I mean, I'm sorry, it goes through FedEx first, and then they'll take it to a local post office wherever it's being shipped, and then they do it. So it takes well over a week. I don't recommend it. I hate it when I'm buying something, somebody sends it to me, but if that's the cheapest often, option, you could add it in there, um, have several options for your, your buyer to look at um, and decide what works best for them, um, and they'll get the actual cost there. Um... I think that's about it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. I'll have some other eBay stuff because I, I do buy a lot and sell a lot of stuff. But if you keep that shipping cost down, you'll make more profit off your actual item. Uh, just something to think about. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you have a question, leave a comment below and go ahead and subscribe. Thank you.